So I apologize for not making any more videos, but school finished up and I got really busy. Cause that's the way I do it right now, is just work all summer. That way, as you can tell, I can travel the entire rest of the year. So I started work again as a wildland firefighter, and that keeps me really busy. And I also do some contract work on the side, just so that I have it so all my wildland firefighting money I save, and then the work I do on the side, on top of the 40 plus hours, is the money I live off of. That way, I don't know, it adds up. I save a lot of money, it's good. But I've been working on the van a bunch. I'm really excited to show the finished product, but it's not finished yet. So I'll show you a little bit of what I've been working on. It's a little sneak peek of what's been up. But yeah, hopefully I'll have enough open days that I can get this done soon. It, there's the good old beauty. So far I've replaced a transmission filter, transmission fluid, and a couple other fluids, but it's been running great. I've had no issues with it. So I pulled out all the bolts in the seats. Uh, there's one spot that had rest damage. Besides that, they all look pretty good. I'm gonna cut out the area with rust and then fill it up with, or first put preventative rust stuff in and then fill it in with some fiberglass. Mixing and mixing and mixing it up. So there's some of the insulation. I've got all fiberglass in, insulated those parts. I'm ready for the base for to go in. So once all that flooring is cut to the right size, I just put the, what's it called, Vinley, the laminate flooring stuff, the stick and peel stuff, really simple, worked great because I can cut it to the right size. It looks, yeah, it, it took a while but everything lined up and it was good. So this is as far as I've gotten so far, I just put the laminate flooring in, um, This that's the seat belt like where the seat belt receiver goes in, it originally was sideways but I'm gonna repurpose it so that I can work with my sofa bed that I'm gonna build. Now everything else I've got, I fill up most of the bolt holes, but some of them I kept so that I could bolt down all the furniture, countertops, stove, stuff like that. And I still got a lot of work to do. My girlfriend's been helping me out a bunch. She's the one from episode two, if you haven't figured it out yet. But yeah, it's been good. She's up in Yellowstone right now, so I'm trying to trying to figure out how to put these bolts. I gotta screw in the top and the bottom at the same time. So I've, I've made some fun contraptions to get it all to work by myself. But yeah, trying to, every second that I have that's spare, I've been working on this van. It's coming together. I still gotta order all this stuff for solar power, which is kind of expensive, but I just gotta bite the bullet and buy it. I'm just stingy with my money. As you can tell, I'm living inside of a van. It's actually gonna be an upgrade. I did the math. And my camper was a 36 square foot camper. And this one's close to 60 square feet. So I mean, I'm living big. I almost doubled the size of my house. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I'm really excited, stoked, everything's going well. I almost forgot to mention, so I sold my truck. Um, got 5,500 for it and I paid 78, but I've only had it for a year. But I know I beat the crap out of it. I did some cosmetic damage. I'm pretty happy about that. I bought the truck, the van for 1,500. So I'll be using some of the money for renovation rest on school and saving and this is currently the camper i've got it completely taken apart i sold the ladder rack that was on it um i'll be trying to reuse as much of the wood as possible or just using it for fires and yeah so definitely some of the stuff i'll be using in my van again i've already used some of the insulation some of the leather stuff like that but yeah van's coming along i'm happy